Product placement in television is nothing new. Wilson, where are you? Wilson! In the early days of radio and television, shows were often underwritten by companies like Procter and Gamble. No, mommy always buys the kind with the orange circles on it. Brands realized early on that they could benefit from their products being integrated into plot lines and associated with popular shows. Production companies understood that these deals meant both equating themselves with valuable brands and, in most cases, money. Apple TV Plus is Apple's premium subscription streaming service that attempts to take on Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, and others. It shouldn't come as a surprise for anyone to learn that Apple products are commonly placed throughout scenes for Apple TV Plus shows. But they're all done for specific reasons. Original Apple series like Ted Lasso and The Morning Show features a ton of Apple products. And there's a strategy behind this obvious product placement. In one episode of Ted Lasso, which was 29 minutes in length, there were more than 30 shots of Apple products, which averages out to 1.24 Apple products per minute. MacBooks, iPhones, iPads, and even AirPods are being placed all over the show. The products are being placed so strategically that they appear almost in the center of the screen in every take. But Apple is not only placing products on their shows, they are including their services into the characters' scripts. Hey Siri, play the Roy is sorry for not understanding Keeley playlist. Uh, well, you know, I promised Henry I'd FaceTime him. And that's not all. Have you noticed that only the likable characters are the ones speaking on Apple services and shown with Apple products? Like Ted Lasso, the most likable coach, or Dr. Sharon Fieldstone, the therapist that helps Ted with his struggles? In The Morning Show, Bradley and Alex are played by Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon, and they're always interacting with Apple products. That means that the villains and bad guys get androids, non-branded computers, or flip phones. The Guardian even wrote an article saying that Apple does not let bad guys use iPhones on screen. In the film Knives Out, you can see several characters using iPhones. However, the ultimate bad guy in the film, Ransom, played by Chris Evans, does not have an iPhone in the film. In Defending Jacob, the murder suspect didn't get an iPhone. In fact, that's an Android phone right there. If product placement is effective, your attitude towards Apple products will be more positive after watching an episode than before. Now, when you're watching your favorite Apple TV show, try spotting Apple products. There are more than you can think of.